Hey loves, so for Alex's fourth birthday party, I decided to do a Batman's photo booth frame and it looked awesome and if you guys want to know how I did that, just keep on watching. I'm going to need a foam board. I actually got my black foam board from Joanne's Fabric Store, but you can get this at any place. I actually seen them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, so right now we want to measure three inches and we want to make a box on each corner of the foam board and this is going to help us make the lines that we need to uh, make the photo booth frame. I actually have a video and I'm going to link it down in the description box where I explain in, and I go into details on how exactly to do a photo booth frame. So once you've made um, the boxes on every corner of the foam board, you want to just make lines going across and obviously you want to measure them to your like. If I'm using 3 inches, you're more than welcome to use 2 inches if you want less room for letters and more room for people to fit inside. Um, it's a preference. I actually go by how big the letters are that I will be using and then I go from there. But anyways, yeah, you basically just want to go around and make and make straight lines because you're going to cut the middle part eventually. And now with your cutting board knife, we want to cut the inside of the foam board. That big rectangle um, space in the middle. Using cardstock paper that I bought at Joann's, I'm going to use the color yellow and I'm going to trace the letters that I have onto them. Here I printed the Batman symbol onto cardstock paper. So once you've cut out all your letters, you want to lay them out onto your foam board and apply some glue stick behind each letter. Um, since I didn't do anything on my foam board, like color it or paint it or added some glitter, your glue stick is just perfect, it's fine. Only when you add like glitter and stuff like that, you may want to use some hot glue instead of glue stick. Once all the letters are in place, you want to go back and erase any pencil lines that you've made when you were tracing the letters. Now for the POW sign, I literally just drew the bubble on white paper. If you have cardstock paper, I would use that. And then I traced it and I went over the lines with um, a black um, permanent marker. And I wrote the words POW myself. And then I applied it onto the photo booth frame. To add the bats, what I did was I printed these out from the internet and I just used one bat and using black cardstock paper, what I did was I traced it on onto it using um, a pencil and then afterwards I just cut it out and it came out awesome. Look at them, they're so cute. Then I just placed them onto my board. As for the props, I went online and I printed these. Once printed, I cut out the image and I applied some glue stick behind them and transferred them onto cardstock paper. Next. I applied some hot glue behind the image and I used one of those cookie sticks as its handle. If you like, you can also add some tape. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, check out my little Batman. <laughs>